Hello and welcome to the next video on the PumaPay Business Console for Merchant Use. In this video, we're going to explore the Business Console and get a bit more familiar with the PumaPay Gas and Treasury wallets. So we last left off when I'd uploaded all my documents for verification and I was waiting for my account to be verified. So I've received my email and I can go ahead and log it into the Business Console. So I'll go to the console here and I can log in. and my password as well. So I've logged in, I can see that the business details and verification have been completed. I can go ahead and go to the dashboard. Okay, so I can see that I now have access to my dashboard and I can see my treasury wallet that I can connect my Puma Pay wallet to and receive payments from customers in PMA. And I have my gas wallet that I can connect my Ethereum wallet to and use the Ethers or ETH to pay for my gas fees. So we need to make sure we have enough ETH in here because if we can't pay for gas fees, the transaction will fail and we won't receive our funds. But if you'd like to get a bit more info on this, I'll put a link in the, in the description box below. So as it's the first time we're logging into the business console, I'm prompted to first connect my wallets. So once I've done this, I can go ahead with setting up products and billing models and start receiving payments from customers. But if you're not sure if you want to dive into that so soon, what we can do is, is we can set up a test environment. So we'll use the business console and the wallets you'd like to use with the Puma Pay system, but in test mode called Testnet. So this way we can get a bit more familiar with everything without losing any tokens. So now if you haven't already, we need to head over to the App Store or Google Play and follow the prompts to download the Puma Pay wallet and create a new wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I've gone ahead and gone to the App Store and downloaded the Puma Pay mobile wallet app. And as you can see, I've got a brand new app here and my wallet is completely empty. So as I'm going to be using this for the test environment, I need to first change this from the main net into the test net. So to do that, I'm going to go into the menu here, select settings and then select network. And here I have the option between test net and main net. So as I need the test environment, I'm going to change this to test net. So if I go back to the main page here, I can see that I'm left with three options for cryptocurrencies. I've got PMA, ETH and Bitcoin. So now I can use this to connect to my treasury wallet. So in the business console, I'm going to go ahead and press connect. And then I need to use the app to scan the QR code. So I'm going to select the blue button here with the QR code and I'm going to go ahead and scan that. As I've scanned this, I can check that this is the correct wallet that I want to connect. To double check your wallet address, you can go to the PMA, receive, and I can see that my address here matches the one on the business console, so I can select yes, confirm. So I've confirmed that and I can see that now I have my treasury and my gas wallet connected. So now that is everything is connected, in order to receive payments, I need to make sure that I have ETH. And as I want to be in testnet, I need to make sure that I have test ETH in my gas wallet. So to do this, I need to go ahead and connect that. So what I'll do first is I'm just going to change this into testnet and select. And now just to double check, I now have my business console in testnet and I have my Puma Pay wallet in testnet. So now I'm going to show you how to add ETH. Okay, so in order to pay for gas fees in our test environment, what we're first going to need to do is we need to add test ETH. So to do this, we need to go and head over to Fawcett robston.be so now that i'm here what i need to do is i need to enter my account address which i can get from the puma pay wallet app or from the business console from the app you need to select the wallet select receive and then you can copy your address here and i can just paste this now into the faucet so as this is loading, I can see that I've, the test ETH has been sent to my account 
and here is the transaction hash if we need to test it. Okay, so I'm back in my mobile wallet app now and I can see that my test account has been topped up with test ethers. So what I can do now is I need to send these test ethers into my gas wallet. So what I need to do is I need to select on the ethers, send and send to, I need to scan the QR code. To bring up the QR code, what I need to do is select the QR code here and just scan this. So I just want to double check that the wallet address that has come up on my app matches the one on the business console and I'm going to press proceed and then I'm going to send all funds just for now and press send. So now I've done this, it's just pending and I should see the, to the ether topped up into my gas wallet soon. Okay, so I've just refreshed both my mobile wallet and my business console dashboard and I can see that the test ETH has left my wallet and is now in the gas wallet in the business console. So now I can go ahead with setting up products and billing models in my test environment. But remember, as we're setting up our test environment in testnet, we want to mimic the payment process we'll actually be using in mainnet. So we'll need to make sure that we also mimic the action of the customer buying our products. So next we'll look at how to add these test PMAs to our wallet so we can buy the products we've created in Testnet. Okay, so now to add test PMAs to my Puma Pay wallet, what I need to do is I need to head over to faucet.pumapay.io and here I am with in the Puma Pay faucet. So what I need to do to add test PMA is I need to enter my address. If you're not sure about your address, you need to go to PMA, receive, and here you have your wallet address. So what you can do is you can copy this link here. And then you can paste that into the address field here. So I'm going to select that I'm not a robot here. Fill out the necessary steps. And then I'm going to select submit. So this is now pending. So if I go back into my wallet home, I should be receiving these test PMA tokens very soon. So now we've set up our test environment. And from the merchant's perspective, we have our business console with a connected treasury and gas wallet. And I also have my test ETH credited to my gas wallet to pay for my gas fees. So as I'll be acting as my own customer in Testnet, I have also set up my Puma Pay wallet with test PMAs ready to spend. So remember what we've done is set up our wallet and business console in Testnet. So if you'd like to skip the test environment stage, then you just instead change your network to mainnet. And the processes we've gone through for connecting wallets and adding ETH to your gas wallet would be the same. So you could easily top up your ETH from your preferred Ethereum wallet using QR code or the wallet address. But if you're planning to switch between testing and receiving actual payments, you just need to double check that you're in the right network, which you can find here. But at the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to stick with Testnet. So this way we can explore how to set up products and make billing models for them. But feel free to follow along in mainnet. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll discuss products and billing models in a bit more detail.